I'm Ben from Com Systems. Today we're taking a look at the exciting new range of Telstra-based ICOM LTE radios. For quite a while now, ICOM have been doing LTE radios, but it's only recently that they've been able to have access to all of the relevant Telstra bands in Australia. So this means anywhere that you have Telstra 3G or 4G coverage, you can have an entire countrywide business radio network at relatively low cost. We'll have a look at the 503H first, which is ICOM's handheld radio. These guys have virtually limitless talk groups that we can program into them. So depending upon your business operation style or, or nature of how you want to talk to your staff, we can put multiple groups in there. So not everyone's crowded on one single channel together. Like I said, you can have full coverage everywhere that there's the mobile network uh, covering you know, virtually all of Australia and some quite remote locations as well with the added 4G coverage. The radio itself is quite clear when operating, uh, talking to another user. Copy radio test. Copy radio, Copy radio test. And another exciting feature that these things offer are the ability of full duplex co communication. Being able to talk in full duplex, as in two people at the same time, is very important if you need to get an important message through, um, particularly, say, for crane operations or the like, uh, where someone could be giving an instruction, but someone else needs to butt in and call out, hey, stop, or, or something along those lines. And another added benefit to these radios are the GPS tracking functionality. So uh, we've got a laptop set up behind me there, and we can actually see where any of our fleet are at any one point in time, uh, as well as quite a lot of very uh, important and powerful reporting features are available through the ICOM Telemetrics uh, GPS tracking system. We can actually, on the mobile version of these radios, map digital input outputs, uh, which for example could be set up to see if operators are wearing seat belts or whether toolboxes are closed or locked. We can uh, monitor battery voltages and states. We can even use them as outstations for to basic telemetry applications, uh, say monitoring flow rates on a water pipeline system uh, and multiple other things as well. The handhelds have a voice recorder capability built into them as well, uh, meaning that if you miss a conversation that someone's called out to you, it's relatively easy to go through and, and play back uh, the last couple of messages. They have short data message capability, as well as the mobile radios, and they're very, very useful. They're going to be a complete game changer for couriers, cement companies, uh, itinerant contractors that have staff floating around over vast distances. The op applications and benefits of this ICOM LTE system are virtually limitless. Combine that with the extended coverage that's available now through ICOM's satellite-based range of radios, we have the capability of linking these systems together, whether that be to the satellite-based radios or whether we link them into existing land mobile radio-based uh, traditional systems that you might already have. So again, coverage, uh, migration of systems is fairly straightforward and, and quite powerful. On the mobile radio, they're done to operate much the same and look the same as the 503H. The 501M, a nifty feature is that the speaker microphone is a speaker microphone. So no longer do we have to try and mount a separate speaker or locate the radio in such a place that you can hear a, a built-in speaker. There are controller mic options available for the 501M. Uh, however, we've found in most of the instances where we've installed these, we can actually tuck the body of the radio away and having the microphone as a speaker microphone allows the operator to very clearly hear and understand what's going on in the environment around them. The, app, the availability is there if you should wish to put an external speaker onto the 501M. However, in most of our applications, we haven't found it necessary. We'll now take a quick look at the GPS tracking functions of the ICOM LTE system and some of the reporting features that can be utilised and enabled within it. 
So we'll have a look at the ICOM GPS and telemetric system that's included with the ICOM LTE radios. So at the moment, we're looking at a daily coverage map of what our particular units have done. So you can see we've had one vehicle uh, driving down through the Wheatbelt region here uh, to Southern Cross uh, that particular day. We've also had a vehicle come back down from Laverton um, down through to Kalgoorlie. You can select and deselect any of these vehicles as you see fit um, to basically get an idea of where people have been and what they've uh, been up to. This is extremely useful for contractors and businesses where you have your staff attending various properties or customer sites. So you can uh, you know, prove times that your staff were there to and from, uh, as well as see you know, how much time people are spending out on the road, as well as from a safety perspective, being able to see and look where everyone is at any given point in time, or if someone goes missing, you can see where they've been to best retrace their steps and locate that missing uh, vehicle or asset. So you can actually go through and look at trips that have been done. There's none sitting there today, but well, we haven't selected an asset. We'll look at my handheld and we'll look what my handheld did on Friday. So every time a vehicle starts or stops or a handheld stays at a particular location, the system will break that up into various trips. So the perfect example of this is, say, for a local plumbing company, uh, he might have several job calls that he goes to throughout the day. You can see the time that they were at the customer site, the travel time between jobs, uh, and be able to match that up against various timesheets and the like, as well as at any time you've got live tracking of, of where things are at um, at any point in time. So at the moment, uh, you know, we've got a vehicle there that's uh, active in town. We can also control within the telemetric system all of your assets. You can rename things. You can give various properties and that to them as well. There's all sorts of telemetry inputs that we can activate within there to monitor the status of, say, a voltage or a fuel tank level, uh, connect it to things to see where the doors on the vehicle are shut, where the seat belts have been connected. The options are fairly much limit, unlimited with that. Um, we also have the capability of working out um, the distance travelled to vehicles. So for a fleet maintenance perspective, instead of having to go and continuously monitor how many kilometres a vehicle is up to, say for its 10 or 15,000 kilometre service interval, it can be looked after here within uh, the telemetric system as well. Uh, you can generate some automated reporting out of this, but it's fairly quick and simple to log in and say, all right, you know, our vehicle here, or my handheld, I should say, is uh, done just over 2,000 kilometres. So it makes that sort of uh, side of things very easy as well. We can go back through and we can look at um, various, uh, sorry, our destination um, destinations that have been visited for the day. So again, we'll pick on my handheld. And here, these are all various different areas where it thinks my vehicle has, has stopped on that particular trip. So obviously a little bit more helpful and useful for something occurring in town, um, but also for a long distance and uh, safety tracking fatigue point of view, you can see where your operators have pulled up and had a rest break or um, you know, have had to stop uh, to change a tyre or, or anything like that. You've got records of, of all of that as well. So we'll just go back into the daily coverage map just to show some more of uh, what these things can cover and do on the Telstra network. So we'll just go back in through to the, I think the 28th um, was a, a fairly interesting day and we'll select all vehicles. So here you can see we've had one vehicle uh, go to a customer site somewhere up in the northern wheat belt there. Uh, and then uh, we've also had another vehicle out along the trans access line fairly well out into the middle of the Nullarbor Plain. Again, it's just an example of, of the coverage and area that you can have communications uh, using the Telstra network. Now, that being said, the way that the ICOM 
LTE radio system works is it's a lot more secure than other systems that may be around there. ICOM has its own dedicated server uh, within Telstra uh, that all of the radio traffic, all the GPS logs and data all go through, and it's only accessible to them. So there's very little chance or virtually no chance of any of your data or any of your radio communications and traffic being compromised or hacked into anyone. We'll go back and uh, look at some more features of the actual uh, 501M and 503H. So there you have it. That's just some of the GPS tracking and reporting capabilities of the ICOM LTE radio system. The cost for these units are a monthly charge. They're $30 per month per radio, but that gives you completely unlimited access and completely unlimited talk time anywhere across the Telstra network. So when compared to traditional LMR-based radio systems, it's quite affordable, uh, as well as there's very little options out there that can give you anywhere near the coverage and flexibility that uh, the ICOM LTE radio system offers. For any more information on the ICOM LTE system, visit lteradio.com.au or contact us here at Com Systems. Thank you.